Okay, my apologies for this mess over here. I'm rocking a baby to sleep as we speak. This was the best I can do for now. You did make a few mistakes when counting your calories. It's not really your fault. Number one, companies do try and trick us. They want their products to look as healthy and positive as possible. They don't necessarily always lie, but they do misinform us and confuse us once again to try and trick us into buying their stuff. So let's first differentiate between the volume, how many grams of the whole product there is versus the grams of each macro. So there's 200 grams in this one container. That means it weighs, you know, 0.2 kg or 200 grams. Now the macronutrients, which is what make up the calories in it, um, it depends on what food you have. Cause you can have a tiny little bit of food like butter that has a lot of calories in it, or you can have a huge amount of food like broccoli where there's very few calories in it. So don't confuse the grams, the weight of the food with the macros grams, which end up turning into energy or calories. That's step one. Number two, all right, there's nine calories for one gram of fat. There's four calories for one gram of carbs. There's four calories for one gram of protein. So you use those numbers to kind of get a general idea and calculate your macros. Now you're only looking at the total fats, carbs, and proteins you're not adding like all the subsets. So for example here, you can see on highlighted total fat. Those are the 1.4 grams. That's all the fat, all the fat in the container. You don't then add another one gram of sat fat to that because the saturated fat is included in that 1.4 grams. Same with the carbs. The sugar underneath it is part of the 6.5 grams. Does that make sense? That was the second mistake you made. So let's do the math here. You see my ugly little red calculations there? So I took the total fat 1.4 grams and I times it by nine calories per gram and that gave us 12.6 calories. Then I did for the carbs, 6.5 carbs times four calories per gram, 26 calories of this product is from the carbs. Finally, the protein, there were 10 grams of protein and four calories for each gram of protein. So 40 calories coming for the protein. Add those all up, that gives you 79.6 calories, which is what they listed there. Now that's only per serving per 100 gram. The container is 200 grams. So you gotta times that by two to figure out the total calories that you're eating in this whole tub. So you just do that, times it by two, and you get 159.2 calories. Does that kind of make sense? So yes, the macros they listed here are possible. Now, how do we know there really is actually 1.4 grams of fat in there? We don't you're gonna to have to trust them. And in America, they can lie up to 20% on labels. That's why we always say at the end of the day, the best thing to do is to eat whole foods because a potato is a potato, a piece of chicken is a piece of chicken. You don't have to trust the label or trust it. Like there's some weirdo behind the scenes trying to add a little bit more fat and not calculate it in there to throw off your macros. You know what I mean? Hope this helped. Sorry, long video. Sorry, very messy, but Papa loves you all.